Hey everybody, it's Joyce here, Shadow by Tarot with a little on ya, bringing you the Tarot Love Tea for the Zodiac Sign of Aries, December 2019. Please keep in mind, guys, these messages will not resonate with everyone. It's just absolutely impossible to do, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and have a good time on the bayou. My hair looks like crap, I'm sorry. But it's a crap hair day. <laughs> okay. So we're going to throw out some love for my Aries. Fire sign people. Ignore my hair. Okay. Who Aries. What am I going to do with you? We're going to begin here. In just a moment. I am going to give you. Messages from your archangels, first and foremost. Spirit guides, archangels. Please give Aries the guided messages they need to hear, they need to see. Messages, please, for the zodiac sign of Aries in love. What are the guided messages, advice, and guidance for Aries? We have prioritized Archangel Metatron. This is the Archangel of Manifestation. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. One more, please, for guidance for the zodiac sign of Aries. Aries. Brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea into fruition. That's awesome because we have the Archangel Metatron, who is the Archangel of Manifestation. And then you have Uriel, which is saying take action. You see that arrow headed straight toward Metatron? That means bullseye, put in the physical effort, see the physical result. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to get started here. I am, yes, using the Witch's Tarot for your reading, Aries, my beautiful fire sign. All right, Aries in love, what are the messages? All right, Spirit, the messages please for the zodiac sign of Aries in love. Guided messages please from Spirit. Aries in love, what are the messages for? Beautiful, fiery Aries in love. December 2019, love, love, love messages. For Aries. Aries in love. Karma. Whoa, Aries, I'm telling you. In a karmic cycle right now, most of you guys, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. That's what's crossing you. Yeah, I do see where you and the person that you are dealing with could be an Earth sign person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn doesn't have to be. However, your manifestations are coming to pass. Remember those Archangel messages here. It's karmic. These are lessons that had to have been learned, but you're at the end of that cycle. There's about to be a commitment, stability in your life. Someone is going to purchase a home. Someone is going to get married. There is going to be that overall sense of being whole, of being secure in your life. What you've been wanting is coming. It's coming into fruition. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. 
So someone isn't exactly telling you the complete truth about a situation or the right information. They're not giving you all the information or they're just kind of lying a little bit. We have the sun. That is Leo and Sagittarius energy, guys. And that is what's behind you. Some new beginning could be some of you just recently had a baby. But some of you, there's a new beginning here, but there's something about, it's not trustworthy with this Seven of Swords energy. There was something going on. Somebody was wearing a false mask, not giving all the information. Somebody was hiding something. There was, There is an element of deception that you have recently gone through. Five of Swords is what crowns your reading. There is going to be a major transformation in the information you get. You're going to find out the truth. Basically, you're going to find out what's going on with this guy, with that energy, okay? And with this in the sun, meaning new beginnings, and with it being in your recent past, yeah, you're going to find out what was the deception here. The truth will come out. And it's going to change the play of the game. It's going to change the feeling of this whole situation, how you feel about the person and where you are right now. Ace of Wands, you have yet more new beginnings here. You see, it's meant to happen for you to find out the truth. The divine is taken over here. You will have new beginnings and I want to say with someone else, someone you can rely on. Yep, Six of Swords, you're getting away from this liar, cheater, thief. Backing it up and moving it out. Getting away from what no longer serves you. That's where you are right now, Aries. You could be dealing with an air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. However, you are leaving behind some bullshit. Okay, you are getting away from the deception and moving towards your destiny. I should put it to you that way. Lots of emotion surrounding this. There's a lot, there's been a lot of talks. Your person tried to sway you. You were back and forth a little bit, some of you, with this person in and out, in and out, trying to make up your mind. But nah, it's time to move on. Four of Swords, yeah. Cutting out the lies, cutting out the crap in your life, getting away from all that and taking a pause. You're just absolutely burying that Four of Swords energy. You're absolutely just, there's a death to that way of living. There's a death to that cycle, that tolerance. Okay? That's what I get. So you are still a little bit in that energy. It is it's something that's going to take you a little bit of time to get over, but you're moving in the right direction to heal from it, Aries. What are your hopes and fears? Page of Cups. Yeah, you're going to have some kind of communication with perhaps a Pisces. Doesn't have to be, but Pisces is sitting here strong. Could be any sign. You guys, this is just energy, but somebody's going to be messaging you, calling you, and it's going to make you very happy. It's a nice surprise. It's going to warm your heart. The outcome for Aries is the King of Swords. So you are going to find out the absolute truth about the situation you were in, the situation that you are currently leaving behind, okay? You will receive communication with someone. This is a new beginning that's going to happen. And this person cares for you. They make you feel good. They, give, they, they have a good sense of humor, I find. And this person, yeah, a complete change from what you've been dealing with. Page of Wands. The person that's going to be calling you. And touching base with you is someone you will develop a love relationship with via long distance. Now, it could be the person you met 
prior was online. Somebody met somebody online here. But the person coming in, I feel like you know them already. You know them from the past. You know them. You met them before. And they're going to reach out to you. This person does live at a long distance. Could be another Aries. Could be a Leo or Sagittarius. But I do see back and forth talking on the phone, messaging one another. Underneath the deck is the seven, I mean, the Knight of Wands. I don't know why I said the seven. The Knight of Wands. So yeah, you and this person that you're going to be speaking with do desire one another. There's a lot of chemistry between you, a lot of physical attraction. So have fun with that. Okay, I feel a lighter energy here. So I think it'll be a good It'll be a good thing for you. A great distraction. And it's going to help you move on from this deception. Okay, Aries. So let's see what the romance angels have to say to my Aries people in love. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Well, well, well. Now, some of you guys may not be actually taking a honeymoon, but a trip, a vacation, time alone with someone. Someone is definitely at a distance coming to see you. It's time to spend time together is the overall energy. Reconciliation, yes, this is definitely somebody from your past and they're returning into your life. Romantic feelings also came out. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, and also getting to know each other. Like they all just kind of fell out. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So get to know this person. Don't shun them. Don't push them away. Accept, accept, accept. You know, receive them in your life. You will be glad you receive this person in your life. All right. I am going to pull a card from my past life oracle deck and I will read what it means to you from the little book because I have not memorized the meaning of all these cards in this past life oracle deck but I will pull from the past life oracle this will resonate with someone out there not all of you I just for fun I want to pull a past life for Aries for whoever this belongs to past life messages for the zodiac sign of Aries whoever this belongs to deliver the messages please we have ships definitely somebody crossing some water here in a past life there was a lot of transportation Back and forth, perhaps you were transport like you were leaving one country to go to another. That's usually why you took a ship. So I do see moving, just like I see here, moving from one location to another. You're repeating a cycle. But where this ship is taking you is the same place where you're traveling to now, Aries, and that is toward your destiny. Okay, there was a cycle here that was not completed and it's being repeated to be completed in this life. So yeah, definitely you and your person that you should be with. You're at a physical distance, but you are closing that gap because you are moving forward, leaving what does not belong to you, leaving what you have learned from and moving forward to meet your destiny, which is meant to happen, guys. So that is it. That is all. I am familiar with some of those cards. Not all. That's why I like to keep my little book handy. I give you what spirit gives me. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And please keep in mind, my private readings are in special until December 31st. $50 is the fee. That is $10 off the regular price. So email me at shadowbyutarot at gmail.com if you would like a private reading during this special also, all of you who do purchase a private reading with me this December will automatically be entered 
into a drawing that will be held on the 1st of January, and I will pull a name to see who wins a free private reading with me. So thank you guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. Share my videos. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And hit the notification bell so that you know each and every time I upload a new video and go live here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.